Okay, here's my next tutorial, and you can see I've got a digital a DSLR. It's just not your regular DSLR. It is a mirrorless DSLR. This is actually a uh, can. Oh, excuse me, a Sony A6300, and um, so it's a. Uh, an excellent excellent DSLR and um, a lot of people talk about filming with a6300 with DSLRs and um, I've always felt like it takes the best photographers to film with a DSLR and I'll tell you why I feel that way um, just like uh, um, most people who are going to film with a DSLR um, probably would not have a remote control. I'm not, I do not know a Canon that can work on a remote control, but um, without the remote control, you would have to zoom, uh, focus, frame your shot, hit record, and uh, all of those things are just kind of complicated when you're doing this by yourself. If you're going to do this with somebody else, that's a different story. But when you're doing this by yourself, uh, it's a daunting task. So this A6300 can actually use the same Sony microphone. This is a power zoom lens, a PZ lens, a Sony power zoom lens. And um, I have uh, mated it with the same... Um, VPR1 remote control plugged into the multiport. I feel like an A7 would do the same thing. A6500, maybe A6002. So uh, if you wanted to self film using your um, Sony DSLR, I feel like this would work for you. So I'm going to use my watch the display. I'm going to use my um, remote control here to zoom in on this deer. And currently, I think this is set up for autofocus, so it's done a good job at focusing on the deer and not focusing on this stick that's in front. So um, I can zoom in, zoom out, and if I had focus peaking on, of course, focus peaking would be um, nice to have too. But I can hit the record button if I want to. I can also turn it off and on if the master power button is turned on. So in a self-filming situation, this might be my setup with this remote control attached to my handle. Deer comes in, I can turn it on, frame my shot if I need to, zoom in if I need to, and hit record if I want to. So that's the great thing about these Sony DSLRs is the fact that you can use this remote control with it. Now you'll notice that I have a different remote control, Land C remote control. This is the um, Verizoom VZ Rock remote control. I actually get two adapter cables that cost about $15 each to attach this to the multi port, and I can use this remote control instead of this remote control. This particular remote control cost uh, cost me $110 used on eBay, but they're much more expensive than that. So, but this one was only $50.